Good day mates Welcome to another series of our discussion For today, I will be discussing about rule number 18 of Colregs Responsibilities between vessels Rule number 18 is entitled Responsibilities Between Vessels. Now, we can compare this rule in this picture. So, like for example, in a road where this three met the fire truck, the ambulance, and the police car. The highlight word is priority. Rule number 18 we can say that uh, it is the priority among vessels. Let me enumerate the kinds of vessels that are within the rules. First, we have a vessel not under command. Next, we have restricted from her ability to maneuver. Next, we have vessels constrained by her draft. Next, we have fishing vessels. Next, we have sailing vessels. Next, we have power driven vessels. And lastly, we have seaplanes. So, in order, okay, so we have first the not under command, the restricted from her ability to maneuver. Next, we have vessel constrained by her graph followed by uh, fishing vessel then sailing vessel then right after that we have the power dipping vessel and lastly we have the seaplane so the keywords in order for us to be familiar no room sisil for san pedro santos so these are the keywords so no for not under command room for restricted on her ability to maneuver Sisil, constrained by her drop. Then four, fishing vessels. San, for sailing vessel. Pedro, for power driven vessel. And Santos, for seaplane. So it means that which one is on the top of the other is the one that is prioritized. So meaning the other one or the, the type of vessel which is mentioned below the other should keep clear on the one that is written on the top so every rule there is always an exemption so where could we apply rule number 18 responsibilities between vessels or the highlighted word we have priority so except on a narrow channel which is um, within rule number 9 so you could not use the rule number 18 no, as an excuse no, like for example you are a not under command vessel and uh, you wanted to cross the channel so even if the one that is within or following the channel is a power driven vessel only then you are bound to follow with this rule number 9 which is there should no vessel be crossing, impeding the safe passage of the vessel within or following the narrow channel. Next, we have traffic separation scheme. So again, you could not apply rule number 18 in a TSS. So the same with uh, rule number 9, uh, follow rule number 10. Okay. And lastly, if you are overtaking, so if you are a not under command, uh, I mean if you are a restricted on her ability to maneuver and you are overtaking a power driven vessel, then you, you need to follow what is within rule number 13 and um, do not rely on the priority given by rule number 18 since rule number 13 is excluded. Huh? So, it means that it overpowers rule number 18. So, in short, rule number 18 can be applied 
only at open seas except during overtaking. So that would be all. Please hit like and subscribe button. And uh, if you are new to this channel, please hit the notification bell for you to be updated in the future videos that I will be posting in our channel. Thank you and bye.